Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see batch management in SAP MM S4 HANA. So the steps I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a material with batch. I'm going to create a batch. I'm going to do purchase order. I'm going to do goods receipt. And I'm finally, I'm going to do invoice verification. Let me go to the live system and I'll just show you how to create it. This is my live system. Let's go to MM01. I'm going to create a material. Mechanical engineering. Let me create a raw material. This is data one, two, purchasing, MRP, scroll down. General plan data one, two, and accounting present. So HK02 is my plant. HK02 is my storage location present. Cement. So each each sorry, tons, tons. Let me select create in tons. Cement in tons. We are going to buy it in tons. ND, no MR. See here, select batch here. Select batch. Select valuation class 3000. One double one seven is my material. So now I'm going to create a batch MSC one N. MSC one N. Enter plant, enter storage location, present. Yes. Okay. Enter. Date of manufacture. Date of manufacture is this. First of September 2022. Shelf life expired. If it is a food, three months. So I'm selecting a date. So date available, available from date. First of September. So now this batch nine is associated with this material. So what I mean by batch is all these three dates are associated with this batch. So if there is any quality related issues arises during the, after the goods receiving, after the invert of the material, so we can find it through batch. If there is no batch available, if there is no batch assigned to the material, then which from which batch uh, material has come, we don't know. So we are assigning a batch. So this is what the batch is saved. So I have saved nine. Now let me do. Purchase order. ME 21 yen. This is my 100014 is my supplier. Present. Enter purchase order organization. Enter purchasing group. 117 is my material. Cement. So 10 quantities. 10 tons. I'm going to buy 10 tons. Part 10 is 55,000. So enter plant HK, HK0 is my plant present. HK0, 02. So storage location HK02. So let me select the batch here itself. See batch. I'm going to select batch. Present. This is my batch. And save it. Save. So this is my purchase order number, order confirmation. I have done order confirmation with the batch. Go to slash in MIGO. Enter the purchase order number. Non-order item. Click on the non-order item. OK. Click on the OK. Save. Now let's go to slash in MIRO. My company code is HK02. So enter invoice date, select tax code, calculate tax, enter PO number. Enter the amount 700500. Enter baseline date. This is invoice verification. Go to basic data again. Scroll down. We have to select. Business place and section code. 
enter section code, select section code. Enter place of supply, that is 22. And save it. So I have saved it. So this is how we create the batch and this is how we use batch in purchase order, goods reserved and invoice submission. Let me see the inventory, MMB. Tell it onto this batch and let's execute it. See here, material has been inverted with a batch name. So this is what the batch is. So next time when we enter, when we do purchase order and when we do goods as another one more batch, we, we have to create and we have to associate that batch with the material during the invert. That is what the batch is all about. Thank you very much.